Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Unika, to those who do not know me and to everybody who's returning, thank you so much for coming back to my channel and watching my videos. It means a lot to me and I genuinely don't think anyone understands how much this means to me. So I thought that today would be like a little fun video for people to get to know me based off of the questions that I'll be answering. But the catch is these questions are randomly generated from the internet and I thought this was such a cool way to get to know someone because sometimes you genuinely do not know what to ask. So um, I was sitting on my bed today and I was wondering, I was like, okay, so wouldn't it be cool if I could just get a game or something that could ask me random questions? Um, because not only would that make me think about certain things that I would like to do, but it would be pretty cool to answer questions that I have not thought of myself. So, I found this website online. It is called a random question maker. And there are five categories of this random question maker. And the five categories are candid, weird, icebreaker, creative, and funny. And I, I just love stuff like this. I don't know about you guys, but I am that person. I will ask a random stranger on the street a random question. I, like I was that person in varsity. I would like ask someone a question, and they look at me like, oh, what, 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 what is going on? <laughs> um, or they just be really shocked by the question that I'm, that I'm, or that I've asked and I think it's always good to ask questions it's always good to um, see what people think um, how people perceive you how people perceive their lives and just also what kind of choices people make it's really interesting to see so um, seeing as I'll be doing like two questions from each category I'm going to start with icebreaker only because there are people on this channel that have not watched me and do not know me um, so let's do this okay first question what's your favorite season I love summer <laughs> the fact that we are going into winter it's it's getting me it's freezing cold and um, okay I don't live in a really cold area but it gets really cold here the air gets dry um, your skin gets dry, I need to change out my lotion, so summer it is, I also love the sun, I love wearing shorts, I am that girl. Um, next question, do you like music? Like, come on, seriously? <laughs> seriously? <laughs> Who doesn't? Um, and if so, what kind? Okay. So clearly I love music, I am obsessed with music. My music taste is really weird, I think a lot of my friends um, do not know what to expect when they meet me. Like they do, when I say they do not, I really mean they do not know what to expect when um, they see me. I gravitate towards really calm, chilled music, but I do have my days. Um, I have recently been listening to a lot of gospel. I listen to Do, Do Jones, guys, give her a listen. She is amazing at what she does. And I also relate to her story so much. Um, I, let's go to my Spotify. Um, oh, I listen to I Love Darkest Hour by Lives. It is such a beautiful song. I think just the way she sings the song it's really cool um i listen to chloe chloe and hallie uh i listen to tate mcrae like my music is every everywhere um to be very honest with you i just love if it if it if it's a good song if the musicality of the song is really good trust me i will like it i don't have a specific genre that i gravitate towards towards um like most people i'm not like oh i love r&b oh i love hip-hop oh i love country music i gravitate towards everything um okay that's two questions from icebreaker let's do candid 
Candid. Okay, so what time do I normally go to bed? Hmm, uh, it depends on the day. Um, usually when I'm working, I'll pass out. I won't go to bed. I will pass out because of how exhausted I am. So I'll pass out at like half past nine. If I'm really tired, then there are days. I don't really have a set bedtime. Um, I think there are days when I will definitely sleep at 12 and then there are days when I will sleep at 8 so it depends on the day okay if you were in a witness protection program what would be your new name and where would you go okay so what would your new name be and where would I go my new name I've actually never thought of this because I simply love my name um, come on Unica how can you like come on I love it's a beautiful name I love my name um, but oh I really never thought of this I don't know what my name would be um, but I would probably go to somewhere in Europe anywhere in Europe um, or in Asia one of the two Europe or Asia no I got it I'd, I'd go to South Korea done I will be in South Korea if I was in a witness protection program um, I do not know what my name would be so if you guys have any idea what my name would be if I went into witness protection let me know in the comments down below <laughs> that rhymed um, okay next one weird I don't know if you've picked up but I am a little bit weird myself and like that Okay, so weird. What scene from a non-horror movie scared you as a child? Okay. <laughs> okay. So I get scared really easily. Um, I have a very, very vivid imagination. I do not, to this day, I do not watch horror movies at all. Um, they are creepy, they scare me, it, it's not for me, so don't ask me to go and watch a horror movie with you because I probably will not. And then, <laughs> I know exactly which movie scared me as a child. Um, we watched The Mummy. Uh, it was the original one, uh, I'll put the picture on the screen here, but I watched The Mummy and um, I think there's a scene in The Mummy where like he doesn't have bandages on and it's just like his flesh and that scared me. I couldn't sleep for a very long time. I remember um, I slept with my parents and I was I, like I couldn't sleep. I kept waking up my mom because I, I couldn't sleep. I was so scared that the mummy would come and kill me or come and just scare me. Um, so, the mummy. Next one. Describe the worst haircut you ever had. Oh. <laughs> you know when you go to a hairdresser and you do what I... You show them what you want. And they don't give you what you want, they give you something else that they think you want but you didn't really want or they just weren't capable of doing what you wanted so they give you something else but don't really warn you in advance that they're going to give you something else because they can't do what they um, are supposed to be able to do. That happened to me in varsity. <laughs> um, a few years ago I shaved my head um, or oh, I shaved my hair, I shaved my head, I shaved my hair on the sides and the back um, and I wanted the Megan Good hairstyle, you know that hairstyle where she has like the little thing, I'll put a picture where she has that thing and I asked the hairdresser specifically, I showed her a picture, I showed her a picture of the front, the back, the side, I went in there with receipts um, and I remember sitting in the chair and looking at my hair on the floor and looking at myself in the mirror and just thinking, oh my word, what did I just do? I remember I called my sister when I got home that day, I was at varsity, I called my sister. And I was like, Andrew, I'm going to 
shave all my hair off because I still had like a patch of hair at the top and I was like I'm going to shave all my hair off because I hated the way I looked oh my word it was so bad and then my sister convinced me to keep the little bit of hair that I had and I I worked with it and now my hair is grown so um, make sure that you go to someone that knows what they are doing because oh my word I was heartbroken um, I was sad it uh, took me a while to get used to the haircut I was like oh my hair is already gone what can I do I just have to make this work so yeah okay I did candid weird icebreaker let's do funny I feel like we should leave trains of lost funny okay do you put butter before putting the peanut butter on okay <laughs> I think this depends on how I'm feeling. There are days when I do put butter on before putting peanut butter on. And then there are days when I just put peanut butter on. So it depends on the day, I would think. Um, let me know what you do. Do you put butter and then peanut butter or do you just put peanut butter? Okay, next question. How many slices of pizza are you capable of eating in one sitting? I can eat the whole pizza. Like... I can eat the entire pizza. Come on, guys. Um, but it does depend on the size of the pizza and the and the um, flavor. Oh. Yeah. Um, but I can eat a whole pizza. I think people don't realize how much I eat until I actually eat in front of them, and then they realize, oh. This girl, she can eat, she chows, she chows down. Um, but yes, I eat a lot and yeah, can eat all pizza. Okay, next one. Okay, next question. Would you dress in drag for $25? Yeah, why not? Um, I think that is an art form. I think the time that they put into doing them makeup and their hair it's absolutely insane and i would one day love to try it um i do not have the makeup skills or the skills in general to try it out by myself but i would love to um i would do it for free yeah cool lost one creative questions guys i really think you should do this with your friends it's really good and i think it's really cool to see what people's answers would be to some of these questions okay what were your childhood pets i didn't have any um i would love to have a dog uh, i would love to have a doberman uh but i still stay with my parents and i don't think they would appreciate um having a doberman at the house because they would probably have to take care of the dog while I'm at work so yeah I would love a doberman but I didn't have any pets as a child okay next and final question what two languages would you like to be fluent in oh what two languages would I like to be fluent in I would love to be fluent in French I think it's such a cool language and I love the way they can't or they don't really pronounce the H that her her sound in their words um, it's always like um, let's see like if I, 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 I just know like my name so uh, je suis unica so I, oh, I don't have that that accent but I love that. I know how to say I'm tired, je suis fatigue. Um, I'm so sorry if I'm butchering the language, but at least I know the words. Um, and then what other language would I love to know? I never really thought of this, but I knew I would love to learn um, French and maybe Spanish. I think Spanish is a beautiful language. I think, you know, so many people say that French is the language of love, I think. But I think Spanish is such a beautiful language. It's so passionate. They, so, ooh, they like, you know, and then, oh, I'm getting excited thinking about it. But I think I would love to learn Spanish. It's such a cool one. 
um, seeing as it's the last category of the last question, let's do one more. And I like these. Um, let's do one more. If you could start a collection of one kind of item, what would it be? Sneakers. Done. Yeah, I collect sneakers. Um, I love sneakers. I just don't love the fact that I can never find a sneaker in my size. I am a UK size 3. Um, so you can imagine how difficult it is to find sneakers in my size. A lot of sneakers start at a UK size 4 and those are massive on my feet so I can't wear that. Um, but sneakers, I didn't even, I like sneakers. If I had to think of something else that's not sneakers, probably like camera equipment. Um, if I could collect camera equipment, that would be amazing because I am obsessed. Um, but camera equipment's expensive, guys. Um, so I would, yeah, either sneakers or camera equipment. But yeah, that's my thing. That's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was really fun. I enjoy answering random questions. I am obsessed with the random questions. I think this is such a cool game to play with your friends. Even people that you don't know, that way you can kind of get to know them a little bit better. Um, I think it would be uh, I think it would be cool on a first date if you ever go on a first date or even just like um, you and your friend chilling at home uh, watching or sitting or having pizza or whatever and just maybe taking the time to get to know them and see what they will probably do i think it's really cool i also hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys we are almost at 400 subscribers and you know it's so scary doing youtube <laughs> because people always judge you but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I think. Just do it, guys. Anyway, that is the end of the video. And don't forget to embrace who you are. Bye, guys. Don't stop.